So guys, we are keeping talking about how to make people think that you're beautiful. But really, the most important thing is just to see yourself beautiful, to feel beautiful. And so that people will start not just, you know, thinking that you're beautiful, they would start seeing that you're beautiful. And uh, in the first part of this video, I have just, just told you something that I have started uh, my, you know, like my tryings to make people think that I'm beautiful. So that I just um, want to share some ideas uh, that are, you know, like internal, that really would work for almost every person. Because in the first video I was talking about, you know, coloring your face, uh, not face, but hair in some strange colors, some strange clothes and so on and so on. So it could not work for all the people, but the next tips could work. So the first one. It is like, you know, this thing that uh, every person just knows and there is nothing new I'm, t I'm saying, but I think that is really important just to remind yourself, remind other people about that thing. So, how to, you know, to fight with your complexes and to really make your you're really beautiful so for example now you're not feeling beautiful and you're not looking beautiful so how to change it uh the first thing you should really come to the mirror just look at the your reflection and try to find something try to find all of your dignities just take a piece of paper and just write all your dignities so something that is making your special. So it could be really uh, the shape of your eyebrows, the length or the shape of your eyelashes, your eyes, form of your eyes, colors, I don't know, everything, really everything, even some bones, uh, some even nails, everything. Just write the list of everything you consider that it is beautiful. And then write the list of everything you consider your, uh, you know, like a bad thing in your appearance. Uh, so just write the list and you will see how much good things, how much more good things you really have. Because for every person, uh, we are just seeing something that it is totally bad. So. When I was, uh, when I got my acne, I was considering, I was seeing only my acne. Or for example, only some, I don't know, fat parts of my body. So I haven't seen that, for example, I uh, had maybe a long, beautiful fingers. Or for example, my uh, ear shape is quite beautiful so we kind beautiful is in comparing so there is nothing like you know normal normal it is just beautiful there is beautiful and not beautiful try to think like that so if your shape of ear is something that is you're just looking at it and you are really thinking that i can just uh, do not cover my ears with hair because they are beautiful so you will just see how much good things you really have in your body and um, that is a really interesting thing because and especially there's could be another thing um, just like you know ask your friend or yes ask your friend or some other photographer for example some photographer to make photos of you from different parts from different sides. So really, I was <laughs> some funny fact. I was always thinking that my 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 butt, <laughs> my ass, <laughs> it is not beautiful. I was really thinking that oh my god, uh, that is the worst part of my body. Really, even worse than my skin. <laughs> and I was uh, kind of you know I was wearing uh, short skirts or short uh, dresses, but. I have never wearing some short shorts. So, you know, like when the half of your butt is just not covered with 
the shirt. So I was really admiring this uh, model, this type of clothing. But I was always considering that I cannot wear it because I my my that part of my body is not really beautiful and it is really ugly. I was really thinking it like this. That the thing is that. I have never, I don't know, like looked at it <laughs> normally. So when I just got, had my shooting in, uh, in the first months of the summer, yes, in June, uh, I was making a shooting and it should be in a swimsuit. And also there should be uh, pictures of my, of the <laughs> backside. And really, when I was just looking at the pictures without Photoshop, I just was shocked because I have seen something that I have never seen before. I have just seen that um, this part of my body is okay. <laughs> so I could wear any shorts I really want and it was really stupid. <laughs> so that, guys, next advice is just ask somebody to make photos of you portraits or not portraits from different sides of your um, of your uh, body of you and um, ask this person maybe to, to to work with this picture but not to use lots of Photoshop just to not to make you look not like you and um, then ask your friends it is it would be something really strange but i have done it and really it was really funny when i was sending pictures of my uh, of me just uh, to my friends because at that time uh, i don't know why but people were not commenting my photos <laughs> it was something i became not popular so i was just sending pictures to my friends people whose uh, you know opinion i'm really considering important and I ask them, what do they think about this picture? You know, not asking uh, what, uh, please make me a compliment or something like that. I just send it them and ask, what do you think about it? Is that okay just to post them? Something like this. Because I was like, not sure, you know. And yes, it was really strange because I just was hiding my, uh, my, uh, that I wanted to hear some compliments from them, but really people just uh, answered me and they answered just uh, that in that thing that I needed. So they have written compliments to different parts of me. So somebody just said that, oh my God, you have so funny and admiring nose here or your eyes are beautiful or I don't know, you are so, you have so, beautiful figures so different things or, or just this color suits you really so different things and that when when then i written that uh, in a column in the third column after those first one the uh, column of my disadvantages column of my dignities and the third what was something that my friends just um, you know, said me that that is good in me. So, really, and that is important just to ask your friends what is good in you, but not what is bad. And really, I have uh, also written something to this column the whole my life. When I just heard some compliment in a conversation with a friend or with some relatives, I was just uh, putting them in that column just to know what people are seeing good in me because really when we are looking on the in our me in the mirror or some photos so for example i am working with a photographer and i'm saying please do not do not post this photo because i am looking here like an alcoholic or something like that but this person just says no you're so much beautiful here and he posts his this photo or she and really people are writing comments that oh you're so beautiful here oh my god why you haven't posted it po this photo on your profile and i'm just really thinking oh my god what is wrong with you guys but the wrong thing was not with guys but it is with me and with all of people who are considering themselves not really beautiful lots of people are seeing in us really great things really something we do not see so 
then you just get this list of your disadvantages and the two lists of your dignities. So th this thing is just for making you better. So take your dignities from two lists and just try to, you know, to bright it, brighten it in your life. So if people are saying that you have beautiful eyes, just make beautiful makeups, just try to to make people really see your eyes firstly. If people are saying that you have beautiful legs, for example, just wear some maybe short uh, skirts or shorts or dresses showing your legs, wear heels, they will make your legs even be more beautiful. If people are saying that you have beautiful voice, just try to, I don't know, talk as much as you can. <laughs> something like that. So, really, guys, try to highlight something that is good in you. And so that it could be really easier for you, because really, sometimes I see people who, for example, have not really good teeth. Yes, it happens, okay, doesn't matter, but I cannot understand them when they just, you know, um, like, um, like wear lots of bright makeup on this side of their faces because it just may pays attention to this side. For example, people who uh, have, uh, you know, what, what? Ah, for the the greatest example of of ever. Oh my God! It is sometimes when you are a bit fat. So the girl who is a bit fat, so she has not really good figure type, but she is wearing you know very short and very open dresses. So something like that. So people are not paying attention that. I I do not say that this girl is ugly. No, she could have a beautiful face or beautiful hair or beautiful skin for example so but people are paying attention that she is not really skinny and they do would, would not pay attention to their her skin so really that was a time when i remember i was just going home and uh, i have seen the girl she was really she had really beautiful face really beautiful white skin beautiful long hair black straight hair and she was just walking in a very short denim skirt and she was a bit fat not really be a bit but she she was not uh, looking skinny and i could not just understand why you have really so much beautiful face so much beautiful hair but First thing that I have paid attention to was your not very good looking legs. So you could wear the long skirt or the long uh, pants because why not? Because really then I would pay attention firstly at your face and then your hair. But now I, I see that you have beautiful face and beautiful hair and beautiful skin. But the only thing that is emerging in my head after all of this is that you are just do not really you are not really perfect with your figure so we are not perfect i was not really skinny some time ago really i was um but i decided to deal with it because you know when i had not very good hair not good skin i wasn't skinny so it was really too strange you know too much disadvantages so deal with something so after you are getting this list of your disadvantages, just try to see what are really what you can do without really lots of things. For example, without any plastic surgery, it is important because, for example, if you hate the shape of your nose and you re just realize that you can't live without with this nose, okay, the, the only thing is really the plastic surgery. I'm not the person who is just saying right now that you have to do the plastic surgery, no. Sometimes people, I just do not understand. For example, I hated my nose when I was a schoolgirl. I just wanted to make a plastic surgery with it. But then um, time passed and I just understood that 
I do not hate it. And now I just understood that I really love this nose because if I had, you know, this tiny nose, my face would look really differently. It would be not me. And I love how it looks, you know, this combination <laughs> of nose, mouth and eyes at all. <laughs> so uh, really just uh, take, you know, those that you really understand that you cannot live without with it, just cannot and change it. But start changing yourself with those small things. For example, you hate your color of uh, hair or you hate your hairstyle. So it is easy. Just go to the beauty salon and just do something with it. So I just say that you tr need to start with something that could be done quickly and easily. So for example, if you hate your skin, so it is really long process and sometimes really hard process and process that needs money to deal with it fastly and not to do mistakes. So yes, it would be somewhere in the middle because plastic surgery is much more expensive <laughs> and much more dangerous. So guys, just try to fight with small things firstly. And maybe when you will just come to your, for example, skin that you do not like, that you can't live with it, your really, it problem would not be so much important. So you could just deal with it, but you will be beautiful enough. So you will have the great figure, you will have... Uh, the great hairstyle, you will have the great style in your clothing, or you will just do the great makeups, I don't know. So you would just feel beautiful already. So maybe you would not just suffer because of your skin problems like you suffered some time ago. And when you just deal with your skin problems, with other things that should be in the middle of this to-do list, the plastic surgery would be not really needed because you would feel you you would feel so much beautiful so much really with, without the skin problems with beautiful hair and the most important beautiful soul really i believe in it so the next tip is just smile really smile and laugh as much as you can because people love kind and smiling people they love talking about of course there are lots of people who love talking about someone problems or something like that but really you do really want to make friends with smiling and positive people because it is interesting with those people it is easy with those people and you just believe that this could be a real friend so keep smiling and don't be afraid of wrinkles because when you are feeling sad, wrinkles appear more. Keep smiling and really people will pay attention at your smile, not at your acne, not at other problems, only with your smile because, because I, I don't know, it is the greatest thing in our lives. I just so happy that now some people are making photos of me with a smile because when I was um, the teenager, that girl who was making uh, sh shootings for me, she has just been choosing everything just um, alone without me. And she hates, you know, these smiling photos. So I had really, till my 20 years, I had no pro professional picture with a smile. That was really strangely. So that's it is, guys. Keep smiling, keep being positive. And the next one. Oh, the next one about also how to make your looking beautifully. So uh, there should be something to start with. I hope you understand that uh, models in magazines are not really that much beautiful. So you can just um, find their paparazzi photos. So, but at least something that we see in magazines on fashion catwalks uh there is something that is like a canon of beauty so skinny tall girl with a beautiful face beautiful skin beautiful hair so try to find someone you would really like so it could be a model it could be an actress 
So it's usually person that is um, working in this fair because we usually find our, our, our beauty idols somewhere in this world. So try to find someone that you will just look at it, at him or her, and just understand that this is, this face is perfect. That is something you just want to look like. And try to understand what is making this face so perfect. And really, uh, that is one secret that you would not, you know, just, um, uh, just choose someone that is looking totally differently. No, we love really the same types of faces and really the same types of figures as our as ours. So, but we like the idols of them. So really, I just mentioned it when all the girls, all the models and actresses I was fond of, they had such a, a nose like me, such a Carly nose, uh, you know, big mouth with a quite big lips and big teeth, uh, like this shape of eyes or something like that, not really small, um, you know, light, lightly not white or maybe really blonde hair and round faces, almost all of them. Uh, the only difference was just uh, some of them got, you know, brown eyes. But at least I, they were, I was looking just like them, but worse. <laughs> so just, you know, print the picture of this girl model, something like that, hang it somewhere and just, you know, look at it and try to understand from what to start. Maybe she has better figure, maybe she has uh, better, I don't know, you know, this, um, maybe she's smiling with her tears, for example, and you're not. So, okay, try to, st try to know how it works, how you should smile with your tears. So really guys, try to find this idol, but do not, um, do not just copy this person. Do not try to be the same. No, that is just someone that you want that is like a better um, version of you if uh, we consider something that I told you about we are choosing our favorites those people who are looking like us but a bit better so if we take into account these words so yes it is the best version of you so you need to achieve this level you need to achieve it and that is something that would totally make you feel better because I was you know like trying all of those tips and nothing works better than you know loving yourself but do not forgetting to fight because some time ago maybe a few days one of the bloggers I'm just watching uh, published a post, a video, like a motivation video, where she's talking about her fat, about her scars, about her big, not really big, but a bit bigger than in, uh, for models' um, body, when she, where she talks about some, you know, other problems connected with her body, about not really round teeth, so on and so on. And she said that you need to love your body, that you need to take it like it is. But you know, I was just looking at her, she, yeah, she has scars because of the fire. She is not really skinny, but she has a perfect clear skin. And I was just looking at this video and I just, I didn't, I was one of those people who didn't like it because people with acne, we understand each other because we are feeling, except, you know, these problems with appearance, we're feeling this pain that acne causes. So her scars are not making her feel feeling pain. Um, she is a bit bigger than should be just because she is not, you know, trying to lose this weight. Yeah, she's 
working for sports, but at least um, she said that she never tried to get skinny, really. And she is saying all of this stuff, but I do not agree. Yes, you have to love yourself, but that doesn't mean that you have to love your disadvantages. No, you have dignities. Every person has dignities and you have to love them. And with your disadvantages, you have to fight. And of course, if there is some disadvantage that you cannot change, okay, yes, that is, that is a problem, but okay, just do your dignities in 10 times better. So that the disadvantage will just go to the background. Do not love your body, you know, in general. Love your dignities. Love something that it is totally beautiful. And always fight. Always fight for being better. Thank you for watching, guys. And you're beautiful.